Uh, go ahead and make the roll, actually. What is your roll? Um, one yellow and five green, and do I have anything else for that? So, you know the closest planet is Tula, mm -hmm. which is the home of the Whippets. What are the Whippets? They whip it good. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, <laughs> the sentient species. Crack that whip. I did not know Yeah. It's this one. Are they mushrooms? No, they're like a bird. They're a bird species. They're sentient, though, yeah. so. Okay. Uh, this is the planet. Is it in Imperial space? Um. What is it in Imperial yeah, space? Yeah, technically everything is. Yeah, but... Like Gareth in well, it's outer rim. Uh, don't see any mention of it in here though. So based on the little presence on planets like Tatooine and other stuff, we're gonna be a zone that pretty much none. And then like the next closest planet is Quermia, Troikan. Uh we're not gonna look at Legends planets, so anything that's blue. Okay, so I think that one will be good though. Okay. So there's Tula. We can offer transport to Tula. It is an inhabited planet, it, but it is out, but it is not under imperial control. As in, it is not garrisoned. They still pay imperial taxes. It's, but that is but who doesn't these days? Am I right? Most of Nazi the too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're, most of the planet, a large section of the planet are um, not colonized, though they are mapped. I see. So you would be willing to help us move there? Yes. I believe it would be preferable to here. Okay. Um, how about we give it a night, we give time to think of this deal, and, work, and we can work out the finer details next time. Um, How's that sound? Out of game, is there like a cliff near here? Hmm? Is there like a cliff near here? <laughs> no. Mountain. You guys are kind of like deep into like a rainforest type thing. I think we could still be tall things here. The tree. It's pretty flat in the area that I they can't land on a tree. Um oh, is there like a clearing? Is that what you're wondering? Well like a raised up platform. So which I can watch, I can watch them, but the uh, also habitat. far enough that if should things go south, uh, I have enough time to fire down on them before they get close. I mean, and by fire down on them, you mean fire at the trees and then fire at them? Well, no, we can fire a missile uh, well, in an arc. Uh, but I'm saying there's a lot of trees, is my point. Yeah, but, you know, like just a raised up area, basically. Okay, well, yeah. There's one. Alright, well, he gives you a good day and he walks out and IT3 follows him. Hey, IT, I have a question. Yes? Can you, I need you to um, stay extremely quiet about of our affiliations as they may cause undue collateral damage. You mean with Realm? Why would you be worried about Realm? Isn't that why you are here? Yes, that is why we are here, but there are other affiliations that we, as a mercenary group, may have. Have you out loud spoken about being part of the Empire in front of IT? No. Then IT is not going to know. <laughs> I have openly worn my uniform. That's what concerns me. I mean, I openly wear my uniform. Yeah. Besides, <laughs> there's something else you have to remember. They are part of the Rebel Alliance and the Traitor. Mm. Technically, they're not part of the Rebel Alliance. You know, a dangerous planet that is nearby that you could have sent them. It's like it's a good quick. Like I had to click a couple times backwards. But Felucia's out there. Oh uh, yeah, that is nearby. Yes, but Felucia's well known. They would have not. 
They would have figured out the Navajo. It's path. the most dangerous planet in the galaxy. Of course, people know about it. Yeah, if I say, "Hey guys, I'm gonna take you to Felucia," <laughs> <laughs> like Florum, Florum's out there too. The Chancellor's belong? No, Florum, as in the place that Hondo was. That's the planet that Hondo had his little operation at. Yeah, but that's a Jeffic planet. Mm. Moraband is pretty close. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is literally a damn Oh, it's not a no, it's a not. Planet. It's a wasteland planet. Correct. Uh, Renvar is nearby. That's a that's a snow planet. Uh, you got Osis uh, nearby. That. Uh, Shouldn't Hoth be nearby? Now that I think about it. Mon Calamari is nearby. I don't want to drown him. Lothal is nearby. Oh yeah, let's take him to Lothal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that planet still exists. Uh, T uh, let's see, Telos is nearby. Frankly, I'm pretty sure the fall of the wasteland. Okay, now now I've zoomed out enough to where now it's these are things that are probably not nearby. But uh, Yavin is nearby. Yes, let's take him to Yavin. Dathomir, Wabani, Terrace, uh, Terrace, Mandalore, and Did they just put all the. You know, places well, that people... Well, no, like, I'm zooming out, like, I'm zooming out a good bit. But, like, because really, it's about here, the planet that we're on. You want to be great? It's just all the deadliest planets in the galaxy were all in the same system. They actually kind of are close to each other, though, now that I think yeah. about it. Yeah, basically, you're in this section of the galaxy. Oh, uh, yeah, between Lothal and Yeah, you're, you're, like, around here. Yeah. That's a lot of really dangerous places. Uh, so he leaves you guys alone, and so does IT. IT leaves. So, what do you guys want to... How okay. do you guys want to proceed from here? Okay, so knowing the information we have now, it would be a very bad for the Tenebris to get here, but that since... That's why I propose we move to a more advantageous this location, should things, as they say, go south. Don't you mean go parasite? Why would I say pear-shaped? Why wouldn't you say pear-shaped? Because going south does not seem like a bad thing. Actually, going south from here would probably be a good idea. Um, just so you know, uh, as a reminder of what Riom wants, in case you have forgotten, uh, he wants... At, he'll probably want... Uh, Parcel in person or able to cooperate out of the things that you'll probably know that he'll want. Question. He'll definitely want coordinates to the Sauna Leor's wreck and scans of its current conditions, which you guys did get, so you've got that going for you. Uh, and we already sent that part out. Yep. Uh, any precious metal bars that you could have found? We didn't find any. Yeah. But listen, listen. Question. Mm -hmm. We have to bring, he needs to be able to converse with him. Does it matter if he's in a jar? Yes. I don't think that really matters. I said cooperate, not converse. He needs Harsel to be able to do things. I mean. In a jar, he's not going to be able to do much. I mean, I guess I've got some systems for him. Physically do things. Yes. I can give him a new body. Hey, we're working on that technology right now. We're gonna ghost in the cell and fall out for this stuff <laughs> at the same time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not monsters. We're the good guys here. I know you guys definitely did not get that. You guys didn't even have the equipment to get that. What climbing equipment? No one told me that we would need climbing equipment to explore back ship. <laughs> It's not like I've ever seen that done before. What do you think? What do you think we are, scavengers? <laughs> I mean, that's what we told them. Uh, well, we told them that we were mercenaries, which is better than scavengers, but still not as good as. Except you're not that good as good as scavengers if you can't don't even have climbing equipment, which I well, think would be pretty. Bad at scavenging, but good at everything else. What's wrong with that? Where's your well-rounded mercenaries when you need them? Um, they're dead because they got captured and killed by these guys. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> I have the point. <laughs> but you do have confirmation of the survivors and of the retreat, which is the name of the place you're at. So you got that for real.